So I'm just out for a short walk, actually looking, helping to find my neighbor's dog with my son. And uh, this trail is notorious for its poison ivy. What, buddy? I saw, I saw a dog shadow. Oh. All right, we got to keep an eye out for Bailey. Yeah. While I'm doing that, I figured I could help you guys out in identifying and knowing how to tell poison ivy from other things that are not poison ivy. Say what's up guy, it's our way to say hi In February it is good to know a plow guy It is shaped like a key, also where I like to ski Tell by my belt buckle that I'm most definitely from Okay, in this group right here that's jewel weed, good stuff. That looks like poison ivy, not poison ivy. These look like poison ivy, they are poison ivy. Everything else, that right there is a baby oak tree, or maple tree rather, not poison ivy. All this stuff here, see that one? Looks a lot like poison ivy. See how serrated the leaves are? Not poison ivy. That's probably a raspberry bush. They're uh, everywhere out here. Again, three leaves, but not poison ivy. See the thorns? Raspberry. Here's a good example of uh, how to identify poison ivy and not poison ivy. When it's very young, like this, they're going to be shiny green leaves sort of canoe shaped like a spearhead shape with a canoe bevel to them slightly red in tint when they're very young as they get a little bit older like this you can see that on this side you've got a couple of larger serrades on a slightly silky smooth leaf and this side is smooth the leaf on the other side is the exact opposite and the one in the middle is going to look like the two of them with a little bit of a serrate on both sides and then as they get even bigger like this they get more of a broad shape to them they lose those little thumbs that look like a mitten um, this one see how it's real jagged not poison ivy not poison ivy um, that little guy right there poison ivy these ones, not poison ivy. One, two, three leaves, jagged on this side, smooth, slightly serrated on this side. However, if you look, it's got thorns, and it belongs to this larger bush, often confused with poison ivy, but it's actually raspberries, so not poison ivy. And these stringy buggers you see everywhere, that's bittersweet. And you can see on this poor little tree, he's got bittersweet running all the way up it. And it'll eventually, that tree's already dead, but if it wasn't, it would be from the bittersweet. And again over here, not poison ivy. This one is actually your friend. Um, it grows in the same places as poison ivy but it gets these little yellow uh, flowers, little tiny yellow flowers with brown dots on them. <clears throat> and this is called jewelweed. Uh, down south they have it, it's a white flower with orange dots. But they get those little seed pods on them that when you touch the seed pod they pop. A lot of people call them uh, no touch -ems or something like that. But the juices inside the hollow stalks of that plant uh, is a great remedy for poison ivy rash and it actually breaks down the arusha oils if you ever come in contact with poison ivy by mistake um, that little guy right there not poison ivy see how it's really jagged and serrated here but this guy right here see the thumbs smooth side three leaves poison ivy
poison ivy. Not poison ivy. Not poison ivy. Obviously your best bet is just to stay away from anything with three leaves. Um, but, and here's some bigger poison ivy. Now I'm not touching it, I'm still a good, my finger's still a good foot and a half away from it. Poison ivy. Not poison ivy. Very subtle differences, but once you have it embedded in your head, and you've been the victim of it as many times as I have, you know exactly how to spot it every time. Jewel weed, poison ivy. Jewel weed, poison ivy. All of this is poison ivy. This is a local park across the street from my neighborhood that's always had a major poison ivy problem. They've taken care of a lot of it around here with uh, other plants and natural ways to do it, but they can never get it all. It always creeps back. Um, that's not poison ivy. That's raspberry. Okay, there's some wild grapevines in here, but look, it's all getting killed by this bittersweet. But all this is right along the, the paved trail, the bike path part of town. And once you get this far in, here we go. Poison ivy. Poison ivy. There. That's bittersweet. This is bittersweet. I'm trying to find something to latch onto. All poison ivy. All throughout here. This is all poison ivy. And look, jewel weed. Your savior. <laughs> I don't know what those are. All I care about is what poison ivy is and is not. But it's pretty bad around here. Here's another characteristic of poison ivy as it gets larger. It gets that real shininess to it. That's got a lot of oils on it that'll give you a nasty rash. I'm not sure what causes them to be shiny or not shiny, but all I know is poison ivy. Bad stuff. All over this is a huge patch of all poison ivy. Everywhere. Those are milkweeds. More poison ivy. Everywhere. People over here that, uh, this is a tennis court, launch their balls over here and I'm sure you can find a dozen of them in there. Everybody knows. Don't go in there looking for your ball. Unless you're immune to poison ivy, which very few are. All poison ivy.